Hello everybody, Gonro here with a team for Kieran's event, and I'm bringing full Crystal Chronicles team. In the spirit of that, I'm trying not to bring a friend unit, but if I'm being honest, I'm only going to try this once, and if it doesn't work, I'm taking a Setzer. Simply because I don't want to go through this too many times. Okay, Yuri's being attacked twice. I don't think that'll keep him safe, but... It's something. Alright, now I'm gonna go ahead and use Bash to get him up to five stacks. Gonna keep spamming skills. Okay, I think I'll finally use a Relic Crystal. Yeah, part of the issue on this wave is that um, they give themselves a, they give themselves a loot, which makes it so Whale can't actually reapply his debuffs reliably. I mean, I'll try it again, but I don't think it's gonna work. Nope. So they just have speed down on them. Oh, this is Yuri. Okay. Okay, they're attacking everybody. I'm gonna get this soul shot off before I do his EX. And on a similar line, I'm gonna go ahead and just brave with Lail. Okay, that really didn't do much for the team. Alright, that was some pretty good shaving all around. Oh yeah, he's being targeted everybody again. Okay. I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna go ahead and brave, since I think at least one person needs to be safe. Okay, we took an HP attack. I can use Rel Crystal. I think I feel a meteor coming on. Well, I guess it doesn't really mean much since it's just kind of a raw HP attack, and there isn't much I can do about that. Alright, seems like a good time. You know, I'm actually going to go for the kill on that one. I think he can do it. Alright, now I just need to hurry up and kill this one. Shouldn't be too hard. And you want to make sure that Lil goes into the last wave at full HP. Oh yeah, since I'm just going to be spamming a bunch of HP attacks in general, I guess I could talk about the spheres that are on this team. So on Kirin, I gave him Tifa Sphere, which makes it so he just gets free 10 attack every time he lands a critical hit. So it's basically going to be active all the time. And for a C slot, I gave him Rosa Sphere, which gives the team a little bit of HP regen whenever he lands a critical hit. Which, again, should be up basically the entire fight. Because it's incredibly easy to do critical, attack, critical hits. 
Okay, moving on to Yuri. Yuri has Garland Sphere on his A slot, which is... Well, is every time he hits a broken broken enemy, he's going to get 2% boost. Basically adds up to 10% when all is said and done. And for his C slot, he has Unisphere, which makes it so every time he gets HP back in some form, the party gets a little bit of a battery. That's a pretty good combo, I gotta say. And Kieran's making it a little bit better since he can provide, what's it called? Initial Brave Up. That's somewhat nasty, but I think it's based off total HP of the party, not max, so Yuri's gonna be fine. Oh, finally on Lael, he just has his own, which is a max Brave Boost. It made sense since he's gonna be launching a lot. That was kind of a mouthful, but I think that was some... I guess I figured I might want to get it out of the way since it is... I think it is affecting the team a little bit. And that's good timing. I hope I targeted the right one. Well, the left one, I mean. I don't think they're at the point where they're going to be launching a bunch of HP attacks, so I'm just going to play it safe. When they glow red, they just spam HP attacks like it's snow tomorrow. Okay, so... That one's definitely going on the offensive now. Which actually isn't too bad, since it kind of just means you can kind of... You don't got to really worry about getting hit. Since it's just a raw HP attack with no brave attack attached to it, so you don't got to worry about getting broken. Well, no break bonuses, so no sudden death, really. As far as I'm aware of, I didn't see any on my blind run. Which I kind of just came in here and just did it surprisingly well. I had a friend setzer, but... I had a friend setzer, but it didn't... I don't think it was necessary to win the fight. It was definitely... He was definitely useful, just not necessary, I think. Which is why I'm trying this without a friend unit. Alright, we're at 5. I'm gonna go ahead and do a Holy holy Restrike, which works pretty well with Lael since, you know, if there's a setup like this, all the stars align, you can do pretty good damage in just one turn. I'm just gonna do that. Still mildly nervous. Nobody's going to die or anything, but still. That's nothing for this team, really. I don't think Lael is dying from that. Alright, turn 53, one on the right's close to half dead. I'm just going to go for a launch since Kieran's already all batteried up. 
Okay, I really need to stop laying on the one on the left. And that's pretty bad, actually. Which one's going first? Yuri? Well, everybody will actually be at a pretty even point. Yep, and then this one's gonna gain Brave. Like that. Oh, and it only hit Yuri, mate. That's kind of funny how that worked out. And I just noticed they ran out of speed down. Okay, soul shot. That's pretty bad, right there. Kieran's at five stacks, okay. Yeah, I know what I want to do here. This will be a really good two couple of turns, I think. Right, let's see, 99. Alright, 188 right there. Then... Actually, I think it'll be better if... Yuri does, handles that. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. This will do pretty good, I assume. I mean, it's a lot of overflow and a lot of max brave going on. Well, it didn't hit the cap, but that's still good enough in my eyes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bash. Yep, Yuri's gonna be just fine. One of the right's in red, so it's just gonna be launching HP attacks. I'm gonna go ahead and Holy Rift Strike. I should really burn through those since the fight is getting pretty close to the end. Yeah, I don't really want that to happen, so I'm just going to push that back. Okay, well now it's fine if that happens. that defense up? Oh, enfeeblement. Not really sure what that does here, because I kind of figured it'd just have a guaranteed chance of hitting all its debuffs. Yep, 
you know, I'm actually pretty okay with Kieran's kit overall. I just feel like I think his EX probably needs like at least one HP dump in there somewhere. Because like I've been trying him out in some other places and there's like a lot of times where it just... With the animation and hits just gone through way too long and he's just already capped. Alright, how many... You know, I'll hang on to that. That'll probably be more handy in a second. Alright, what was the HP? Okay, I'm above that. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, that looks about right. Actually... Please work out the way I want it to. Okay, and that's a wrap on that. Pretty sure that made the score because Lael's on the team. Probably hit the score cap, actually. Yeah, that looks about right. An HP requirement. Alright, yeah. I remember I mentioned in the last video I was in a bit of an issue because I don't have many melee attackers that aren't holy based, and, uh,. Yeah, maxing out Leo and Kieran did not help that at all because Kieran has a holy attack and Leo is basically exclusively magic. So I'm still in the same position I was in that last video. But I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is.